Since recording the second victory of his early Grand Prix career at Monaco back in 1966, Jackie had never managed to finish in Formula One's most glamorous blue ribboned event. Qualifying on pole suggested that his luck might be about to change. After being introduced to each of the drivers, Prince Rainier and Princess Grace retired to the balcony to watch the start of the race. Sharing the front row with Jackie X, just ahead of Joe Siffert and Chris Amon, Jackie was quickest off the line, just beating Siffert and X to the first corner. The top order remained the same until halfway mark, when Ronnie Peterson in the March Cosworth managed to get past both X and Siffert to go second. Jackie was steadily extending his lead up front. As Clay Regazzoni coasted lamely to a halt with tyre problems. Comfortably in control, Jackie emerges from the tunnel to enjoy the luxury of flying solo along the harbour front straight, passing Monaco's famous landmarks. At the flag, he was more than 20 seconds ahead of Peterson. As ever, his wife Helen was waiting to greet him on the balcony, where Jackie received warm congratulations from Prince Rainier and Princess Grace. I think the most satisfying uh, was Monte Carlo because I wanted terribly to win Monte Carlo. Once again, Jackie and Helen ride off into the sunset on a lap of honour around Monaco.